Hi there Forex traders, it's yours truly once again Dapo Willis. Now it is no secret that I just got back from Doha, Qatar, um, where I went to raise some funds for, from some investors. So guys, in this video, I want to share with you guys how the entire trip went, okay? They sent a private jet to pick me up. It was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, they offered me a significant amount of money for me to manage for them. So guys, the essence of this video is to obviously show you guys how the trip went and to educate you guys once again as to how you can go about raising a significant amount of money from investors for your trading because we all know as forex traders that one of the fundamental issues is funding capital a lot of people don't have access to a lot of money and that's why the little that they have they always try to flip it they want to grow it as quickly as possible you know and stuff like that so guys in this video that's exactly what i'm going to be covering let's talk about this doha trip it was absolutely amazing and yes let's you know let's learn how to make some extra money from investors let's go all right guys so th this video is actually going to be quite relaxed i'm actually going to take my seat down just a little bit this video is actually going to be quite relaxed because anytime i speak about raising funds from investors i like to take my time and explain certain things to you guys so that you guys actually get a a, a better perspective of things just to make sure my microphone is working testing mic one two three four okay you guys can definitely hear me okay guys so um for those of you who've been so following me on my social media especially instagram you guys must have seen that i did get on a private jet um to doha qatar um and the trip was absolutely amazing i'm going to be putting um short short videos from my story in in the video somewhere around here um now i remember i had done a video uh, in the past maybe about three weeks ago that did very well it's, it's titled how to raise you know how how a billionaire invested a million dollars in my trading now that video i was speaking about how an African billionaire invested $1 million in my trading. That incident happened about 60 years ago. It happened a while ago. I was still in university at the time. However, my trip to Doha literally just happened seven days ago. Okay, so what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video is um, facts, real life stuff, um, you know, and most importantly, I hope you guys walk away with a lesson from everything I'm going to share here today because at the end of the day, that's the essence of the YouTube channel for you guys to come on here and learn, okay? Forex trading is not about doing everything by yourself. Um, you also have to reach out to people, you know, to invest money with you and so on and so forth. Anyways, guys, enough about that. Now, let's kick this off this way. I'm just chilling, okay? I'm just chilling in my house, okay? As you can tell, this is my home office. I'm just chilling in my house when I get a phone call um, from a previous colleague of mine. We had worked together in London and he was up apparently now with a firm in Qatar. And, you know, he had mentioned to me that, oh, Daps, you know, I've seen the way you trade. I like the way you trade. You are, you know, one of the best traders out there. You know, you know, just telling me stuff that I already know. <laughs> telling me stuff that I already know. And I'm not here to blow my trumpet. I'm just trying to give you guys the entire narrative. And I'm also going to educate you guys how you can go about raising a lot of money. Guys, the money that he offered me was significant. I'm going to get to that shortly. Okay, so... You know, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So they, they've been trying to track me down for like three whole months. I've just been, you know, I've been busy trying to give you guys educational content, trying to trade as well. I have investors. I have a lot of responsibilities, you know, on my head, you know. So long story short, I was like, all right, cool. So I'm just chilling one day and I get a call from Doha, apparently the CEO of. So now this company in question is a is a fund management company. They manage over 15 billion dollars in assets. 15 billion and the guy jumps on the phone with me now the ceo of the company jumps on the phone with me and like mr willis can we have a zoom meeting so right here and here you know i put on my zoom meeting and you know he's speaking about you know how he would like to meet me and stuff like that how he would like for us to manage funds for him you know guys you have to understand something when i get offered funds i'm not always in a hurry to i'm not either it doesn't excite me okay and i'll explain to you guys in a, in a bit why reason why telling me that you want me to manage a significant amount of money for you doesn't really excite me okay now i'm like all right cool not not a problem and then he goes and then they call me again three days later and they're like okay would you like to come out to doha would you like to come out to qatar so we can sit down and have a meeting and so that we can talk money returns on investment and stuff like that blase 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 i'm like all right cool so now what happens is 
um, a day before I'm supposed to travel, I, I'm just chilling as always. I'm waiting for them to... So they, they're telling me they're going to handle logistics, right? You're going to handle logistics, all right, that's fine. I'm expecting to see a ticket itinerary from Qatar Airways. Like, I'm expecting to see, like, an email reference about my flight. And then I get a confirmation from um, NetJet, okay? NetJet is telling me that, um, hi, Mr. Willis, we have a jet booked out for you. I'm like, okay. We're flying private, all right. That's not bad. I don't mind that at all. You know, so obviously get to the tarmac. Um, the jet is waiting, steaming. Now they actually have some of their staff come as well to pick me up um, from Dubai. And then we get on the jet and we fly all the way to Doha. It was an absolutely amazing trip. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Now, the, the, there's something I want to highlight quickly here. Now, the guy who has been telling these investors about... <laughs> Dr. Willis and him being a very fantastic trader is actually a student of the Forex Mastery program. Now, he had taken the course and he had also done trading for them as well. And they had seen a significant amount of improvement in his trading and his returns. And they were like, we want to get to the source. Now, why am I saying that? It is getting to a point whereby if you're a Forex Mastery student, okay, and this is the whole essence, if you're a student of Willis University Forex Mastery student, that in itself should be able to open doors for you. Because these guys have watched the course, they've taken the course, they like it because at the end of the day, what I'm saying on the course is the truth. Realistic approaches to the market, okay? Top-down analysis, how to look at the market from a higher time frame perspective. You have to understand that People who have a lot of money are not really crazy about massive returns. They're scared about losing their money, okay? So, you know, Forex Mastery students, if you're watching this, kudos to you guys. Um, if for any reason you're trying to steal an investor and this, 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 and you're having difficulties, just send them the, you know, just sit down with a meeting with them and see, this is where I'm learning from. This is what I can do. And if you haven't grabbed the course already, you're doing yourself a great injustice. Ensure to grab it. My team always puts the link down here, up here, blah, 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 see, blah, see. Anyways, Josh, a Forex Mastery student, um, spoke to his CEO and he was like, yo, listen, I've taken this course. This shit works. Okay, let's get this guy here. Fly me all the way over to Doha and, you know, I land. Now, the company is having a conference in partnership with Chevron, okay? Um, so, I get there. Dude, I'm sat in the front row seats with like rulers, man. Big boys, you know what I'm saying? Like big dudes, like all white. And sh you know how they dress all white? I'm like, yo, you know? And then during the event, they call me up to speak about sustainable market investments. Obviously, I just go on there and I'm just, I just put some words together and obviously everybody's clapping and stuff like that. So after that, um, mind you, I'm not even, I'm, I'm, I'm not even aware that they're gonna offer me funds. So I, um, we now, after the event, we go to a, like a, a mini conference room of about maybe a, a table that can take about maybe six people. So we're sat there and right there on the spot, guys, right there on the spot, you know, these guys are talking, okay, um, Mr. Willis would like to, what can you do with 50 million US dollars? Now, guys, you have to understand that I manage funds north of 7 million as we speak. 50 is a lot of money. So when you're like 50, I'm like 50, what? Naira, 50 million US dollars. I'm thinking, guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you here. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna come on here and tell you guys the truth. I froze, I was scared. I'm like 50 million US, like that's a, but obviously I just, I just pretended like, mm, you know, it's not a lot of money, but bruv, you know, and right there on the spot, you know, I was just like, okay, 50 million US dollars, Jesus Christ, you know, and, this just simply reminds me that we as forex traders have our threshold okay we as forex traders have you know what the amount of capital that we're comfortable with now i want to cite a little lesson here i know a lot of forex traders out there are in trouble because of the fact that they've gone to bite off more than they can chew they have and right now, you know, I get a lot of messages on Telegram, not from Forex Mastery students, by the way, from different works, people of, of, of life, um, you know, whereby they've taken funds from investors and now they can't pay out. OK, so once they mentioned 50 million dollars to me, I was like, I told them straight away, I'm like, I can't do 50 million dollars. I'm very sorry. Imagine turning down that kind of money. I said I can do 10. They're like, OK, OK, that, let's start with 15. 
Now, guys, you have to ask yourself the question, why are they so eager to offer me this kind of money? Now, they're so eager to offer me. It's not because of my, because of I'm on YouTube and stuff like that. We have two funds. There's the aggressive, just for sake of understanding, aggressive and conservative. They looked at the conservative fund. We are, on our conservative fund, we're up 17.5% for the year. Aggressive funds were pushing 70, not maybe probably 80% right about now. If AUD USD cooperates, by the way, because AUD USD has been running mad lately. <laughs> okay. Guys, they were more interested in the conservative in the conservative fund. That's what they were most more interested in. That's 17, 18% a year with a drawdown of maybe 0% or minus 0.1%. That's what they were interested in. And it just goes back to my point that you don't need to, your trading doesn't need to be flipping accounts for you to get investors. They like what they saw. They like consistency. And on the equity curve, we could see consistency. I'm right nine out of 10 times. Forex mastery students, you know this. You, once you take the course, you will most likely follow suit in this line, okay? I'm right nine out of 10 times. And they can see a steady growth in the equity curve. You have to understand that when people are investing a significant amount of money with you, they don't want to see returns that are looking mad. This is where a lot of traders get it wrong. One aspect. Second lesson here is this. You have to understand that investors that want to push you and tell you that 15% a month is what they want, you have to flee from those kind of investors because you will end up in trouble. Right now, back home, you guys know predominantly I'm Nigerian. In Nigeria at the moment as we speak, there are a lot of bucket shop companies that are opening up promising people ridiculous returns. NBA Forex is one of them, okay? And investors at the moment are greedy. They are very greedy. They want you as a trader to perform on that same level. You have to tell them, I can't do that. This is what, if they're going to go, let them go. Guys, let me, let me tell you this. As long as you're a Forex mastery student and you're doing your due diligence, and you're growing your account little by little, small by small, investors will start to look for you, okay? Take it from me, you are in demand. Go into Doha and have and watch very wealthy billionaires. There were billionaires at the event. Watch very wealthy people beg me to trade for them. These guys actually, $15 million is actually a test of, it's actually some test money they wanna to give to me. Later, I found out that they, what they actually want to allocate to me in their fund, so they want to outsource the Forex trading division to us, basically. What they actually want to give to us is 500 million US dollars. And here I am turning this down because I know what I can do. I know what I stand for. I know what I can deliver. Forex traders, profitable Forex traders that are doing decent returns. You guys are in high demand. Don't be swayed by all these indicators and signals and flipping of accounts and all these people you watch on YouTube. Those people are here today and gone tomorrow. Calm down and grow your account consistently and investors will find you. Anyways, sorry for digressing a bit. Let's go back to the Doha story. So obviously, I'm in the meeting. I'm chilling. You know, they're talking about this. This is how I'm relaxed. I'm just chilling like that. I'm telling them, okay, so this, they have a clause in the contract. I'm telling them in the clause in the contract. Guys, for confidentiality agree, um, reasons, I can't share the name of the company. But there's a clause in the contract that I stated very clearly that I have a maximum drawdown clause of on the aggressive fund is 20%, on the conservative fund is 2%. Meaning that if we lose your money up to 20%, we have to give you your funds back. Now, this has never happened before in, since I started managing funds. I don't see it happening. I've been performing fantastically well over the years, as you can tell from the YouTube um, analysis that I always do. However, for me, this is very, very crucial. And for those of you Forex traders who are out there that are going out to look for funds, you also have to ensure that you put this in your contract as well for me the first thing I wanted to speak about in the meeting was maximum drawdowns because I need to protect myself I need to protect the investors I need to protect 
everything that is at stake at that given time okay i don't want to be stressing over anybody's money and you have to understand this is a lot of money guys imagine they are chasing me around and sending private jets to pick me up because they want six seventeen percent annual returns not 50 not a hundred i was thinking maybe because i was thinking because before i went for before i went for the meeting once they confirmed the private jet trip i spoke to my team in london and i was like okay send me our equity curve from both funds, the aggressive, but I'm thinking, I said, do a report on the aggressive fund because I'm thinking this is exactly what they want. But I get to the meeting and to my surprise, they want the conservative fund. Okay, sophisticated investors understand the principles of investing. They know that anything that is above 20 to 25 percent annual returns is most likely going to what blow their money, and they don't want that. This is a significant amount of money we're talking about. So I'm chilling in a meeting, they're throwing me all these offers, this, that, that. Me, I'm just sticking by my guns. I'm telling them, yo, listen. I can give you guys 20% in a, a per annum and I can keep your your risk, your maximum drawdown as low as 2%. You know, so this is so we signed the deal and all that. Everybody shakes hands and we drink some champagne. And yes, I, I run off to the hotel. Guys, they kept me in the most expensive hotel in Doha, which is the Four Seasons. Four Seasons, absolutely beautiful. Loved it. One of the best hotel rooms. It was all expense paid for because of my conservative fund of 18% a year. <laughs> interesting right you know so you know and, and then um what else happened in doha i got to meet some very wealthy people some really rich guys and on my way back when i actually got to the private jet terminal in doha on my way back i also got to meet the vice president of bombardier bombardier uh, airplane manufacturers actually he gave me you know he he heard me speak at the event and he was absolutely in love with you know what i had to say you know and stuff like that and he himself wanted to obviously start doing business with me he told me um he was like and i want to share this with all my forex mastery students today now guys he gave me the brochure for their global 6500 which is one of their latest jets um he gave it to me here a space that fits your style i don't know if you, can, you guys can see this okay he told me and these words really stuck by me he said i believe that in the next 24 months you will be coming back to us to buy your own aircraft you know and i want to prophesy this into every single forex mastery student that's watching this whatever thing it is that i'm achieving i wish it upon you guys as well you will fly high and fly great i understand that the forex 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 environment can be quite challenging but think about it nothing good comes easy okay look at how far i've come okay it's taking me 10 years to get here okay it's taking me a while but i do believe that for those of you guys who have taken the program and you are digesting it and you are religiously following my videos you will get to this point you will definitely get to this point and i'd like to say a quick prayer for you guys as always you know for those of you guys who subscribe you comment you like i love you guys very much i think i'm very emotional about this because I remember back in the days in my mom's house in, in, in Nigeria when I used to, when I was in I just finished high school and I was learning how to trade and I used to cry because the forex market market wasn't cooperating and I swore I said God the moment see God if you help me with this thing I would I would teach people I would show people I will help people I do know that the forex mastery course is is ninety nine dollars but my we have to charge something for it but ninety nine dollars is pretty much a giveaway okay for all the information that you guys learned there once again the link is going to be down here or somewhere around here so once again back to praying for you guys. I do believe that in 24 months I should have my own jet because think about it, if they offer me half a billion dollars and you guys all know how well I trade, I should definitely have my own aircraft within another 24 months. So I want to obviously prophesy this to all my Forex Mastery students, all the subscribers as well. Um, you guys will be singing the same kind of praise very soon. I guarantee you guys that it all boils down to calming, calm the hell down. You have $1,000, take the program, grow $1,000 to $1,400, $1,500, okay? And package your portfolio and start sending it out. You can send it to the Forex Mastery, um, the Forex Mastery dashboard, okay? We're going to create a special portal for our students on the Willis University platform whereby if you've grown your account by 40% over six months we would actually start putting the word out there to help you with your investors 
or to help you find investors. You don't need to be, I know you guys are short of cash. That's why you're always trying to flip accounts and that's why you're blowing your accounts. However, you, that doesn't need to be the case. One thing you have to understand that, one thing you have to understand in this game is you can't take $300 to 30K. At some point, you have to take on investors. You have no choice. It is easier to make $1 million from $10 million than to make $1 million from $10,000. Because if you have $10 million, all you need to do is trade once, make 10%. That's 1M. If you have $10,000, do you know how many fucking trades you, excuse me, do you know how many trades you have to place before you can get to 1 mil? It is a lot. You know, so um, that's pretty much it. So guys, Doha was absolutely fantastic. Got to see some pretty women. Got to see some very good looking people some really good looking gentlemen and the women they were very warming and very embracing and very welcoming um you know <laughs> i have to state that out there you know i'm in a different region you have to respect the culture and respect the tradition very welcoming people and i respect them a lot um and i want to say if if if, if you guys are watching this obviously the fund you guys know yourselves if you're watching this thank you guys so much for the opportunity 15 million dollars at the moment i'm going on holiday next month um i'm off to bahrain for another meeting and i'm back um, um i should be in lagos for the holiday i'm not 100 sure about that yet but um yes um and, and then we start trading their money in january so um but right now we're gonna wrap up i'm gonna be done trading maybe second of december i'm gonna call it a year because in december the market gets very very thin Okay, from the 23rd, the market is just getting very thin and then it opens up on the 28th and goes thin again for New Year's. You know, there's little or no liquidity in the market, but there's a lot of volume. So the market just goes, you just in a little range and just be spiking up and down. So yes, my people, once again, that's my little, um, in my little recap of how my trip went is there anything that i'm forgetting the hotel was amazing and yes we we're coming back obviously met the vice president of bombardia he actually gave us um his own jet for us to use it was fantastic although it was a bit smaller than the one i used to fly to doha but it was amazing as i was just chilling man i was just chilling it was a fantastic trip so guys once again if you haven't grabbed the program do yourself a favor and grab it the link is going to be down here somewhere start trading grow your account by 40 50 60 percent come back to us in forex mastery program we're going to create a little portal have a conversation with some people on the team let us see if we can help you raise some funds from investors if we can't you have all the tools you need or on the forex millionaires program if now if you grab the forex mastery course also ensure to grab the forex millionaires program i also speak extensively on there how to go about raising funds from investors as you can see in the last video that i did whereby i was speaking about how the african billionaire gave me one million dollars to trade people were saying are you sure are you sure you know people always doubt you especially nigerians they're doubting thomas's but hopefully this time around you guys got to see very transparently at least the people who follow me on instagram saw me with the contract with the deal everything and stuff like that but for confidentiality purposes i cannot share the name of the firm and obviously i cannot share the accounts right about here but best believe from next year my fund is going to be at least we're going to have at least 25 million dollars in total trading so it's going to be an interesting year next year um but yeah i'm going to keep dropping videos i think we're going to do more lifestyle videos and tech, um trader talk as well i'm actually going to be going ho on holiday showing you guys a lot more about dubai and stuff like that now i don't really like to show off especially when um this is an industry where people don't really make a lot of money so i don't really like to show but however it seems like people want to see the fast cars and lamborghini so i'm going to be doing that as well especially now we just secured 15 mike it's a lot of money mate <laughs> you know guys so once again thank you for staying till the very end is dapper willis yours truly i'm thinking is there anything i'm forgetting like i like i always do some words of encouragement to you guys um keep pushing okay a little prayer for you guys you got this okay you got this if you haven't grabbed the course the link is going to be down here somewhere grab everything you can grab from dapper willis because it will get to a point at this rate that i'm going 
you know, offering 50, 100, 500 million dollars, it will get to a point whereby I might not be able to be doing YouTube videos like this anymore and I might not be able to be providing quality content on the course anymore. So grab me while you can now because as like I was saying, the way things are going, I will be most likely focusing on on my trading and growing my fund because we make a lot of you know we make a significantly more money from trading than we'll ever make from youtube or whatever the case may be so grab what you can grab from me now all the information you can grab from me now i was i'm still doing this okay guys so once again love you guys very much if you haven't subscribed and sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful drop me a comment down below you know and whatever topic you want me to speak about next drop me a comment down below and i'll ensure to make a video on that once again take it easy and peace out